to IS 485 and 585. I'm Professor Fahmi Jalani. Today we cover on uh, chapter 6 um, on software and vendor selection. So let's dig in. So in a high level uh, ERP purchase process, uh, we have several steps that we need to take note. Uh, first one is uh, technically to do research on the vendor. Uh, in this case, could be SAP, Microsoft, or Oracle, and that's where all the information is gathered. And uh, the next phase is to ask a demonstration uh, from these vendors uh, with regards to the system uh, in terms of event, and then we do an evaluation on the system um, in terms of uh, functionality, uh, stability, okay, pros and cons, uh, which is the assessment. Uh, having narrowed down, you request for uh, a bid or request for proposal where the vendor will list all the items that they supply. Uh, they are intend to do installation um, in terms of hardware and software and next uh, you have to bid for the vendors uh, which is uh, purchasing for example um, all this uh, requires analysis and selection okay. and also uh, negotiation uh, when uh, you finalize your vendor and uh, in terms of uh, maintenance, price, uh, support, consultation, training okay. and last but not least to purchase the item okay, or the system. So in vendor research, uh, I mentioned earlier you will have a list of all the supplier for example uh, SAP, Microsoft Oracle, etc. Okay. And uh, next, we will take note of the cost of implementing the system, the total cost. Okay. And uh, make sure that uh, you use the, the web or the internet to find all the, the list of vendors that's available on the market. And do consult your managers or the, the all the department head, uh, which uh, pretty much the expert in their field, it could be HR, logistics, purchasing, uh, finance, HR, uh, on what are the requirements that they, they require for the system, and not forgetting the end user, uh, which also uh, not only gain trust uh, in implementing the system, they would have a sense of belonging to the company in making the decision. Also, do take note uh, in selection of the vendors. Uh, uh, try to find out what other companies that the vendors do uh, implement, or who are their other customers. For example, SAP. Who are their other customers that they implement? Other MNC, big, big companies. And financial position: Are they stable, or are they going through a bankruptcy or lawsuit? Things like that. You don't you not want to buy some from a vendor that is going to bank, go bankrupt in a few months. Okay. Or, and what's their philosophy and support issue? How prom are they? Uh, what are the reviews? Okay. Um, on top of that, also infrastructure, hardware, software, infrastructure, um, uh, direction of, uh, and currency of software, okay. and uh, releases, upgrade, how frequent, how prom are they in upgrading the, the software or hardware? Uh, future functional in terms of expansion. Uh, as your business grow, or you need to expand. Uh, what is the future support, for example, and not forgetting development and maintenance resources. Are they there? Are the consultant to help you assist? So here is uh, next. It's a short list of uh, vendors uh, mentioned earlier. SAP, very common. Okay. Next we have Oracle. Okay, uh, which acquire PeopleSoft. Um, Lawson, uh, this is basically a customized uh, software, uh, SSS Global, okay. 
uh, they claim to be more specific goal okay uh, in the short time next we have uh, Microsoft Great Plains uh, business solution okay uh, Epicor okay for this is basically for mid market in info visual um, catered more to aerospace to biomedical okay flex online okay more for supply chain and manufacturing okay those are some of the lists that you could consider right so that's pretty much, pretty much it for the class today uh, if you have any question please feel free to email me uh, stay safe and wear a mask uh, do stay warm too thanks right.